want to hear what you've got to say. Oh, okay, right. What, what, what did you just say to me? I said, who is it that was commissioned to sit down and write a good reason why somebody should produce millions and millions of these plug socket prong cover things? What is their purpose? Why have we got them? What do they prevent? What do they do? And is it because of the Sun Plastics Company somewhere that needed a multi-million pound contract to produce billions of these pieces of CRAP? I mean, what is it for? It covers the prongs up, but why? They're not sharp, they're not connected to anything, so what purpose does this provide? I don't know. Can someone answer me? Well, you're, you're a... You're a, you're a good devil's advocate person, so, and, and you're also very practical, and you've done health and safety, Governor. Yeah, I have. So, so yeah. come on, put your, put your crazy mind to, put your crazy mind to it, because what, what, I'm with you, I'm thinking, what the... Okay, so, so, so what this does, effectively, is it covers the um, brass prongs up the on the three-pin plug. So okay. does it stop it getting scratched, then? What, the prongs? Because I'm going to play devil's advocate with you. Oh, okay. Well, everything else that comes with something that is attached to the moulded plug, uh, which is on the end of a cord usually, is, is, is isolated by its own packaging. Mm. In other words, this is belts and braces and a parachute and uh, a built-in nappy as well, <laughs> in terms of safety and protection. We just don't need it. Because there's nothing in the box that, this, that the plug comes in um, that needs protection from those prongs. A, because they're not sharp, they're just um, moulded brass, and B, because there's no electrical circuit that's ever going to come in contact with it anyway, because it's a plug that you plug in, not an output. So do you think, so say you'd bought a, a computer monitor, for instance, could the prong of the plug scratch the screen? Yes, it could, but it won't ever, because the screen is always protected. Right. Not not by this thing, by but by its own packaging, and the cord that is on the end of the moulded plug, the wire, if you will, um, is usually wrapped up inside its own plastic um, bag. Um, so I just don't see the the purpose of it. It's just an added extra. I tell you what I think it is. I think it's a cosmetic uh, covering to say this plug is new and never been used. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like the plastic film that goes over the front of the screens, which you peel off to say, this has never been touched by a human hand, and you're the first person to ever see it in its raw state. It's one of those commercialized, uh, sanitized devices that tells the user this plug's never been used. It's the only purpose I can see in it. I do not see it as in any way a health and safety thing. I don't see it as a protection thing, it is unnecessary. But I do see this piece of crap, I'm going to say the word now, as something that's responsible for littering the oceans and, and the landfills and probably the incinerators for generations to come. It's totally unnecessary. It doesn't have a reuse, does it? Can you reuse Ooh, I that? I don't know. We might be able to plant a seedling in Ooh, that. Girl, now we said something. <laughs> Let me see if I can play a tune on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. So you got two pictures. The end of the short ones. <laughs> Oh, I'm really stretching a point here. Okay, so, so listeners, we need 50 reuse ideas. There you go. <laughs> the plug cover. What can you do with it? Why is it there?